president of the Clothing Manufacturing Association of India, Hello. partners with IMG Hello. Reliance, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Namaste and a very good evening to all of you. I'd like to start by expressing my warm appreciation for the minister and the extraordinary effort that's being made to place India's textile industries at the heart of India's development and employment creation in a sustainable manner. I'd like to also extend my warm appreciation to our colleagues and partners at CMAI and IMG Alliance for galvanizing the strength of the fashion industry and bringing it around this sustainable resolution project that's just been described. This is a really special initiative. It's an initiative that generates the kind of joy and excitement that you get when two very dear friends of yours announce that they're going to get married. It's an engagement party. And it's an engagement party of two people that you know deserve to be together and that it will result in a marriage made in heaven. The sustainable development goals and particularly the environment and climate goals need the fashion industry. And the fashion industry equally needs sustainable development. We're not talking about a small sector. We're talking about a huge industry. Globally, the fashion industry is worth some US $2.5 trillion. So it's big. It affects the environment. It affects hundreds of millions of people. It has a beautiful side, and we've seen that beautiful side all week and continuing the next few days, and especially today, the Sustainable Development Day of Black Day Fashion Week. But it also has a dark side. The carbon footprint of the fashion industry is enormous. Globally, the carbon footprint represents 10% of all global greenhouse gas emissions. That's more than the aviation industry and the transport sector put together. It also produces immense waste. 20% of the water waste of industries in the world is coming from the fashion industry. It produces other forms of waste. 65% of textiles end up in landfills or in the incinerator, and often even before they're ever, ever used. So there's an immense amount to do to make the fashion industry more sustainable. And that's why this project, the Sustainable Resolution Project, is so important. Ladies and gentlemen, like every marriage, this marriage is going to require a lot of effort on the part of the, of the fashion industry, incremental adjustments just won't be enough. A serious transformation of the industry is needed. A kind of fashion industry 2.0 for people and for planet. The will identify gaps and it will help them to try to close them. It's a set of concrete targets aligned with the UN fashion industry Charter for Climate Action, a commitment to outsource and utilize certified sustainable raw materials by 2025. I'd like to warmly congratulate the 16 brands that have signed up. I understand it represents some 75% of India's apparel industry. That's extremely significant. I'd like to warmly salute those behind the SURE project and to compliment them on their matchmaking. And I'd like to express how proud the UN is to partner in this venture in line with Lakme Fashion Week and the Sustainable Development Day of Lakme Fashion Week and look forward to deepening our partnership in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. It is our privilege to now invite our distinguished keynote speaker, Srimati Smriti Zubinarani, Ministry of Textiles, Women and Child Development, Government of India, on the stage to address everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, as a proud Indian, I stand here today to witness history. Never before in a population our size has voluntarily industry, the retail force, 
of India and those who are known as the fashion elite, along with the government, come together on one platform. I would like to tell the UN that this is not a match made by the ministry. One must credit the industry and Lakme Fashion Week and ING Reliance and CMAI for coming together voluntarily. That this has happened voluntarily makes me proud as an Indian Why? because on the 2nd of October, we shall as a nation step into the 150th year of celebrating the birth of Mahatma Gandhi. And as Gandhi said, not only to every Indian, but the world, be the change you wish to see in the world. And today, the resolution on sustainability is reflective of that very thought of the Mahatma. My grateful thanks to Jaspreet and Gautam for spearheading this particular initiative. The accolades are well deserved and restricted only to the two of you. I do not give this accolade to Rahul Mehta, the president of CMAI, because there is much that I have to extract as minister from him and his organization. So I put him on notice. But on a serious note, ladies and gentlemen, never before have 16 of the biggest brands of our country come together on one platform for saving the earth. So we do this as proud Indians. We do this as proud global citizens. My heartiest congratulations. This makes for not only responsible business, but also smart business. Because the Sustainability Report 2018 states that sustainability is the fourth criteria for 57% of the consumers of the apparel and design industry. The fact that you not only are showcasing your responsible behavior, but also bettering your intake in terms of your consumers is something that you need to be applauded for. I am grateful that the UN in India is also here tonight to support this endeavor by the fashion industry along with the retail strength of India. My best wishes and gratitude for this, not marriage, but amalgamation and convergence and confluence, as Jaspreet calls it, of the pure Indian thought that everything we must consume, we consume responsibly. Thank you so much and best wishes. If the audience permits, I would like the 16 representatives of that brand to please come on stage. The uh, strength of the industry value of the 16 partners who are part of this resolution, ladies and gentlemen, is close to 30,000 crores. Uh, Rahulji would say 40,000, but then I'm in government, so I'll be a good conservative. So thank you, and this is the impact that this industry partnership will make worth 30,000 crore rupees in our country. Thank you so much. I would now like to request the grand signatories of the pledge to come forward on the stage for the launch of Project Show. Aditya Birla Fashion and Retail, Mr. Vishak. Arvin <laughs> Fashions, Mr. Anindya Ray. Bestseller, Mr. Vidim Gautam. Kiva, Mr. Siddharth Bindra. FBB, Ms. Manjula Tiwari. House of Anita Dongre, Mr. Mukesh Sablani. Lifestyle and Max, Mr. Vasant Kumar. Levi's. Raymond's, Mr. Gaurav Mahajan. Shop and Stop, Mr. Amitabh Sobhi. Spiker, Mr. Sanjay Vakharia. Trends, Mr. Vineet Nair. W, Mr. Anand Daga. Westside, Mr. Venu Nair. 19F, Rahul Mehta. Chala.
మిమ్మల్ని సినీ సెలబ్రిటీస్ రియల్ స్టోరీస్ ఏంటో తెలుసుకోవాలనుందా లేటెస్ట్ గా రిలీజ్ అయ్యే మూవీ రివ్యూస్ నేను చెప్తే వినాలనుందా ఇంకెందుకు ఆలస్యం ఏ ఏ సినీ టాకెస్ ని సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేసుకోండి బాయ్ హా అన్నట్టు ఇంకో విషయం మర్చిపోయాను కింద ఒక గంట సింబల్ ఉంటుంది దాని లాగి బట్టి ఒక్కటి కొట్టండి